ask for just once. Hello, so I wanted to start a vlog with makeup on just because I feel like the other ones I start off with a literal jump scare, although I usually vlog without makeup, so you guys know what I look like, but I'm like, let's just like start off on a strong note. So it is February 1st. Me, Keith, Danielle, and Joseph are gonna go see a Back to the Future on Broadway tonight. So I told my boss ahead of time, I'm like, I'm working East Coast hours because sometimes I don't tell him. And then at like 4.59, he's like, can you do this? I'm like, ah! Cause my train leaves at like 5.10. So like I planned ahead and I'm being an adult. So he knows I'm leaving at five. I have a hard out um, so I can enjoy my time in the city and not have to like worry about like if someone IM'd me or something. So I'm growing up, I'm planning ahead by three hours, you know? So I've seen Back to the Future before, but it's Broadway week and Keith is like, I haven't seen this and it looks good. I'm like, I will go. It is such a good show, I will go again. And Broadway week is like two for one. So for four of us to go, it was like 240, which is like $60 a ticket and it's in the orchestra and it's center orchestra. So it's like really good. So. I think we got a good deal. I'm very excited for them to see everything. Um, just like, even just special effects wise, I think they're gonna love it. Also, we're between like two places for where we wanna meet for dinner. And I was looking at the uh, menus for each and I'm like, my mouth is watering. I'm like, okay, is it five yet? And then I have to like an hour on the train, but like I am ready to eat. But yeah, that's the plan for today. I love having plans. Like meeting for dinner is probably my favorite thing to do. And then we're seeing a Broadway show on top of that, like A plus for a Thursday, you know? Okay, I've made it to the train with like five minutes to spare, but also this train never comes on time. But like, at least I'm in running distance of getting the train. Um, literally, I signed off at four today at 3.58. I get an email from HR. It's like, hey, we sent you the wrong report. After I posted and did all the math, for the things I did today. And I was like, if these are messed up, and I wasn't gonna stay late and do it because this is the only train out of here for the next five hours, but I was like, I'll probably, you know, sign back on tonight. Thank God nothing I did was affected because I would just went like completely bald right then and there. Um, but probably the stuff I'll do tomorrow is affected, but that is tomorrow's problem. So I'm gonna get a little closer to the train station, continue to look at the menu that Keith sent us. Everything looks so good. So I'll probably spend the whole train ride looking at food. Hello, so we're meeting for dinner at six. It is 5.45. I actually had time to go to Smackery's, got the cookies. Um, my favorite is red velvet and they only do it on certain days. And today it just worked out that red velvet was there. I should have gotten two. I got Funfetti as my other one, but I'm very jazzed about this. All right, we made it. Looks like I'm the first one here. I don't know if I should wait outside. I probably will. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Just is hiding. Hi. Hello, so I was about to do a very, very light face, like just one step above looking like a dead body. Um, so I figured I'd show you what I do, um, but I just have to look mildly presentable because we're taking Betty to a new vet. Um, I really wanna get her teeth professionally cleaned. Her breath is so bad that like, I feel bad that I can't like give her kisses cause I'm like, I can't be this close to your face. Um, so, we gotta do like the pre-checkup, just make sure everything's good and like weigh her and stuff um, before we schedule like a teeth cleaning. So uh, she's gonna be so mad at me today. So yeah, just gotta look a little bit human. So I'm basically only using like three things, a little concealer, some blush and mascara. So no contouring, my head is still gonna look like a basketball, but like we're gonna even out the skin tone. So we're gonna use this NARS concealer. My sister got this for me um for my birthday and i've been using this so much and i've been doing this technique so much just to look like baseline okay so this is in the shade 
light too, vanilla. And it's actually a pretty good shade match. So this is why I kind of like doing just this. Um, I've been doing this because it reminds me of how like professionals used to do my makeup when I was like modeling. So basically just put it anywhere you have discoloration. I have rosacea, so like I get it like pretty bad here, but I don't really put it on my cheeks too much. For me, it's like around the nose and then the chin. So just like sloppily putting this wherever. And then here's the technique. Cause I remember um, like makeup artists using like a fluffy brush and having the lightest touch on me that I'm like, I'm gonna be under studio lights. Like I need a paint roller on my face, but they would literally just be like, okay, you're good. And I would look amazing every time. So I started doing this probably like two months ago. So literally just like buffing it in. And then like a week ago, I'm on TikTok and I see this professional makeup artist. She's like, you should start doing this. And I'm like, I've been doing that. So I feel like I'm on like a good technique, a good role. I don't know. So yeah, just like buffing it in. And this just evens out most of the redness and it'll cover up like the purple under here. My big problem, I started doing this just under the eyes because I was getting creasing. And then I'm like, why don't I just do that around my nose too? And there's enough left over on here that you can like, you know, do this or get a little bit on the cheeks. I'm going to put blush on anyway. So I, I usually just leave my cheeks kind of red, but like the buffing in and doing this helped me with the creasing Oof, right in my eyeball. Very cool. Um, help me with the creasing so much. Um, but yeah, this is so easy. It doesn't use a ton of product and it'll even out my skin. Cause yeah, I just want to basically cover up any redness and then I just, whatever's left on here, I bring it up right here. I'm going to get bangs on Friday, I think. Ooh. And we're taking Galentine's pictures at Taryn. So they're going to be immortalized in photographs forever. So hopefully they turn out like they did last time. Like last time, the day I got my bangs, I was feeling myself. So I'm hoping for the same result this time. Um, yeah, pretty much that is it. Like that evened me out so much. Also because it's winter, I'm not buying a new foundation. So I do look kind of orange when I wear like a full face of makeup. And then I have to like, you know, bring that down to my neck. But like, since this is so light, without making me look like a freaking ghost. Um, just cause you're putting it in only certain spots. Like I don't have to blend to the neck. Like I look mildly even. Um, this is not my go-to blush, but I want to use this up. So this is milk makeup. It's a little stick blush. Um, I used to just draw it right on my face, but lately I've been taking a brush straight here and then just adding some color back. I'm already pretty red, like I mentioned. So just adding like a little bit of a uh, dimension to my face. Again, nothing crazy. And I just want to finish this up um, so I can go back to my Merit. I've been using Merit mm, off and on for a couple years, but I got a new one in September and that has been my go-to. Like I look good when I use the Merit. So for a day like today, let's just waste the milk. That sounded gross. Um, I look really pale on the camera just because I have my work laptop right in front of me. So I'm getting a little blue light. Um, and that is it. And finally, I'm just gonna add mascara. So again, this is just a light makeup day for me. Cause if I'm doing makeup, it's like, well, I already have this on, might as well do brows. Well, I have the brows on, might as well do eyeliner, you know, and contouring, all that stuff. Not that I'm good at contouring, but I do feel like it makes a little, little bit of a difference. I have the world's most giant head. Um, but you know what? I'm just trying to look alive. Make a first impression on a 70 year old man who's a veterinarian, you know? Um, <laughs> part of me is like, well, I'm leaving the house. I might as well go to Jersey Mike's. That has been my hyper fixation meal lately. And I have a coupon. So it's like, you really should go if you have a coupon. Also, I have enough points to get a free giant. So this is very niche sandwich talk, um, a free huge sandwich, but I'm like, I gotta save that for when I'm destitute. I have a coupon today, so it's only be like $8. I gotta save the free one for when I'm like, <laughs> so that's the plan. Um, so yeah, vet today for Betty. Then I have a dentist for me tomorrow. Then I have Betty's grooming appointment on Thursday. And then I took a PTO day on Friday because I'm getting my hair done. We're gonna go to Taryn's, get some pictures done. So 
leaving the house every day this week, which is actually kind of crazy. Also, things don't usually work out for me, but yesterday it did. So my dentist and my and Betty's grooming appointment were scheduled like at the same time on Thursday. And I've known this for like two weeks and in my planner, I'm like, call and reschedule one of these. And naturally I didn't do that. And then yesterday I get a text from the dentist. They're like, something opened up Wednesday. Do you want that? I'm like, yes, thank God. So for once something worked in my favor, but yeah, finished product looking alive. I'll do something with the hair. Ooh, I don't know. Also all my clothes are in the laundry. So I've got the Jonas Brothers shirt back on, but then like tie dye blue pants. I look insane. So yeah. Um, thanks for coming along with me to do the lightest makeup ever, but like, it's very easy. Just do the light touch and you'll look mildly even. So this is good if you're like late for work or don't want to throw three pounds of makeup on your face. Like you'll look barely alive and that's the bare minimum that I'm trying to do. We got a good girl who did so good at her vet appointment. She hates being in the car though. <laughs> She's mad just for this. Okay, so we survived the first vet appointment and we made an appointment for her dental cleaning. So that's what I was mainly concerned about. He did bring up, you know, her kneecaps are bad, but I've known that. Um, and he's like, as long as she's getting around, it's fine right now, but we'll like keep an eye on it. And if she's getting an x-ray for her teeth, he's like, we'll do an x-ray when she's, you know, doing that just to have like records of it. Little sticker shock though, not for the dental cleaning like that came in way less than where I was quoted elsewhere that's kind of like why I went this way also because my aunt used to work there so I was like okay it's like good vibes um for just like the checkup he's like oh it's like 120 I'm like good with me but if that was like 480 something because like the tests and stuff because they did like the poop test and blood work and I was like oh I was not expecting to pretty much shell out 500 bucks today um, and then I have to do 350 tomorrow for my teeth. My teeth though, that covers an entire calendar year of two checkups, x-rays, you know, XYZ, and then paying about a hundred bucks to get her groomed on Thursday. And then like 300 for me to get groomed on Friday. So this week is gonna be a doozy. I have been saving, obviously I've been working two jobs. So it's just a lot all at once, but at least like after this week is over, it's like, okay, I don't have to spend thousands of dollars in the matter of hours. So you know what? I think I deserve a sandwich with my $3 off coupon. Hello, just finished at the dentist. Yes, wearing the same sweater as yesterday because it was at the top of the pile of things to grab. I didn't have to pay anything, which is great. Like I said, I pay for the year, but I guess since I paid in August, we're doing it from like August to August. So good for me this time. However, she's like, everything's great. Little gum recession. So don't brush too hard. But she was like poking around. She's like, oh, you're going to need a filling on like 31 or whatever. And I'm like, I was just here after my August appointment. A couple months after that, I have no concept of time. They called me. They're like, oh, you need to come in for something. Didn't say what. And I got like four fillings that day. I'm like, you could have at least warned me and my bank account. But also like if you were poking around then, how did you not see this one? Because it was within the last three months, I would say. Um, so part of me is like, she just wants some money, but I'll get it taken care of. Cause as we know, I've been through the ringer with my teeth. So keep it, let's just keep it like good in the beginning, like be proactive rather than reactive. However, since I'm out and about, there's a really good ice cream place <laughs> down the street from here. So the whole time I'm getting my teeth professionally cleaned, I'm like, mm, what flavor I'm going to get after this. So I'm going to go get some ice cream, a little treat for myself and not having to pay $3.50 today. I'll have to pay in like six months, but like not today. Good morning. It's Friday. I took a PTO day and I'm up at 8.30 because I scheduled a hair appointment for 9 a.m. on a PTO day. Why? Um, but I'm up. I'm at it. Obviously, this needs to get done. Um, I did it like pre my voice. Oof. Um very close together this summer so I had very blonde hair in the summer and then I went to California for a while I just got lazy so got it done again like Halloween haven't had this dyed since Halloween it is February 9th so I really need it but like I know it's expensive so I know I can have that like grow out period of a couple months just because like it doesn't look that insane um when it grows out but it's nice to have a nice fresh blonde so I'm gonna paint my face because as we all know 
when they turn you around in that chair, that mirror does things to you. So I need to do, I might do the light face I did the other day, but with eyeliner. Um, just because I don't have a ton of time either. Uh, but I need to put something on. Brush this out. This is just, ugh, yuck. So like, this is the before. And hopefully it'll be a lot less mediocre after. Okay, and here's the after. Um, admittedly, I'm not thrilled. Um, color is perfect. Blowout is great. This is all good. I asked four straight across bangs. I don't know about you, but I see a lot of forehead. I literally said straight across bangs, long on the side. And she goes, curtain bangs. I said, no, straight across bangs, long on the side, no forehead. I don't want to see forehead. I see a lot of forehead right now. And it's just like a little annoying because last time and it was the same stylist gave me exactly what I asked for. I was feeling myself that day to the point where I have so many pictures and videos of me being like, uh, 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 cause it was so good. It was straight across and long on the sides. Um, and even like then it was like a little sparse. So we, today I was like, add a little more. I don't want to see forehead. So I know it doesn't look terrible. I am the queen of complaining about first world problems, but I'm like, can I get what I asked for just once? Like I want Botox and LASIK surgery on my eyes so bad, but I know I'm gonna be that one in a million person who goes blind. Cause every procedure I've ever had since I was a kid getting braces has been botched. So like, yeah, like what was it? 18 years ago when I got my braces, they didn't glue them on my teeth. They had them on the wire and they were just spinning around on the wire. So like truly everything I've ever had done has been botched. Walking out of there, again, it looks good. Like it does not look bad, but like it's not what I asked for. So, and, and honestly, it was, it was curled in like this. Like it didn't even, it wasn't even a good blowout for curtain bangs. <sighs> like I had to, I walked out of there and I went like this and I was like, okay, I can like go out to society, but like, <sighs> Literally, I knew there was like, we we're past a point of no return that I just gave up. Um, Cause I kept going like, little more, little more. No. Um, and then t there was a point where I was like, well, Kira's friend Kayla is a hairdresser. I'll just go to Kayla sometime this week. Just pay for two haircuts in one week. And then I was getting up and I noticed the woman in the chair next to me got the exact bangs I wanted. And again, it was too late to be like, that, that is what I want. But. <laughs> no, so yeah, um, people are dying, but I'm complaining about a good haircut, but it's, she did it last time. I showed her the pictures of last time. I'm like, you did this. You did it. We'll just do it again. No, no, no. Um, so I want straight across bangs so bad that I think I'm going to bring the picture of Will Byers from Stranger Things. Like it's a meme at this point. I'm going to bring that as the inspo. And if I walk out of there with a forehead after that, forget it. I'm going to shave my head. Okay. So I did take a PTO day and honestly, it's only like 2 PM. I could work and I did leave like a dumpster fire at my real job, but I took the day. So yeah, now that I have this whole day on a Friday, it's actually really nice. Maybe I'll go for like a hot girl walk. Maybe I'll clean. Um, who knows? Who knows? I had Chipotle. So yay me. Good morning. Um, excuse the moisturizer on my face and obviously the hair. Just got out of the shower and I washed just my bangs and I just blew them myself. I don't see forehead. I can cut from here. How was that not an option yesterday? Um, I, <laughs> I look like a mad TV character. Um, I could cut my bangs right now into the way I want them. But I do think I'm going to go and see Kayla and have like a professional do it, but like now I know it can be done. Like that cowlick can be blown away. <sighs> so still a little mad. Let me, let me flop this out of my hair now. Um, yeah, now I know it's possible. Actually, even like a side bang is cute. Like anything than what I walked out with yesterday. Although yes, it was not bad. I look naked. I'm wearing a towel. It was not bad but it wasn't what I asked for. So I'm getting ready, I'm gonna film, and then me and Keith are going into the city to see Little Shop of Horrors. We made a plan to see this a couple weeks ago, 
because um, we want to see Evan and Rachel Wood from Westworld and Across the Universe, like a bunch of things, Frozen 2. Um, and Darren Chris is also in it. I'm not like a huge Darren Chris person, but like I know he's very talented. But since like Darren Chris is in it, the ticket prices are insane. And me and Keith mainly want to see Evan Rachel Wood. Um, so we were looking at tickets and we're like, I don't know if I want to spend like X amount. And the other day I just entered the lottery and immediately won. So, and that was my fourth Broadway lottery win in the past month. So I am on a roll. As unlucky as I think I am, I am pretty lucky at like little things like that. So it worked out that we get to see the show and for $40 each and we're in like row C. So it really worked out. Um, so doing that tonight and then tomorrow we're going to Danielle's for a Super Bowl party. Um, it, it would make sense for me to sleep over at Keith's and then just go from there tomorrow. But I think I'm going to come back here go to a spin class and work tomorrow morning and then go back to Danielle's. This would be much better if my car was working because um, then I could just drive, but like I don't trust the cars on the highway right now. So I am a bitch to public transit right now. And that just makes it like a little tedious and annoying, but we're gonna get through it. We are planning the menu. So trust me, we will be plowing and probably really not watching the game. I have no reason to watch the game. I do want to see the halftime show, but like, we're going to socialize. Also, I forgot to mention yesterday, took the PTO day, one, to get my hair done, but I timed everything that way because Taryn, our friend from spin class, she's a photographer. She did the Galentine's Day shoot I did with Betty last year. Um, she was gonna do the same thing at her house. So I was like, oh, perfect. I'll go with like fresh hair. Betty just got groomed. We'll both be like, nice and presentable, and we'll have a little Galentine's Day photo shoot for this year. But Taryn ended up getting sick, so she canceled for yesterday, but she might reschedule for next week. But I'm like, good thing that happened because I was so unhappy with my hair. And again, it didn't look bad, but I was just like so in a mood that I didn't get bangs that I was like, I was in such a mood yesterday. Like, <laughs> I stayed up late, like frumping on the couch, um, but, I, I thought I was gonna go in there real cute, get new pictures with my cute bangs, feeling myself. Oh, now I look like I have a comb over. Yes, they, they need to be styled, they need to be worked on, but like, give me some scissors, but I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait for a professional to do it. Anyways, um, I'm gonna put on some clothes. I'll put on a face, we'll film. I got very cute Shein stuff. I've only tried on one thing so far, so hopefully everything fits because it's like a 10 out of 10. I think I only got five things, like a five out of five. Um, do that, go into the city. It's one, I think I'm gonna get on the train at four. Can I do it? I am lazy, we'll see. Just filmed all the try-ons for the Shein haul. Like I said, what was it, five out of five or whatever, they're all good, so very happy about this one. It's 2.30 right now. I'm gonna leave for the train at four. So I literally have an hour and a half to film the talking part. I already have a face on and I'm not gonna do it. I just know my limits of laziness. So as much as I could, quite literally, just sit down and talk about the clothes I just tried on. I'm gonna push this off till tomorrow. Um, I do have to say, I'm trying a new eyeliner today. So I always use the NYX like marker. The one I've been using has been leaky, runny, but I'm like, well, I have it, I'm gonna use it. Today I blinked and it was like, you know those ink blot um, psychology tests? That's what it looked like on my face. So that went straight into the garbage. And I know I have a backup marker somewhere in my like makeup excess drawer. You know, I can't find anything. So I grabbed an Urban Decay crayon um, it's not as opaque. It, actually, it looks pretty good on camera, but it's not like black, black, black like a marker is. So, you know, we're doing this for right now. It's the nice little placeholder till I can find the marker. But yeah, I couldn't risk having ink all over my face. So I did have an outfit in mind that I was gonna wear to the city. It's been my go-to city uniform. Like I said, I've been like four times in the past month and it's those Halara trousers. They are so comfy. It's literally like wearing acceptable pajamas and they have the fake out like button in the front. So it's like, you're not really wearing pajamas cause they're, they look like real pants, but they're not. And I've been either doing that tan and black Shein shirt or the black and white, it's over there, black and white Amazon sweater. Just 
the easiest go-to outfit and I look presentable and I look like I know what's going on, even though I don't. Um, so during my try-on, I just got a new bodysuit from Shein and it was actually very comfortable and it looked really good. So I think I might do the bodysuit and jeans today. We'll see, we'll see. Both very comfortable. Um, so whatever I don't wear today, I'll probably wear to the Super Bowl thing tomorrow. But always very nice when you're doing a try on haul being like, I don't wanna take this off or I'm gonna put this right back on after I do this. Like I like that so much. But like I said, I have an hour and a half where I could get some stuff done, but I think I'm gonna take Betty outside, spend some time with her and let her run around. She deserves it. She had quite the week with the vet and the grooming. So let's take Betty outside, get some fresh air for me too. Then we'll head into the city. Okay putting the finishing touches on this outfit. Ooh, moment of truth, will this belt fit me? Oh my God. Okay, on the last rung, this is a wake up call. Ah, oh my God, huge. Okay. Wow, okay, like I said, wake up call, even though me and Keith are like, where should we eat tonight? That's uh, Monday, Shannon's problem. So here is the finished look complete with camel toe. Um, so these are the old navy jeans, loose throughout the leg. I feel like a little bit of a front plump, but I know these are the move. Um, and then I have this Shein bodysuit, squeaky floorboard, little mesh sleeves, toward belt I probably should have sized up. Now I know. I'm gonna try and find my little booties. If I can't find those, white sneakers. I'm gonna be hauling ass in New York City. No one's looking at my feet. Gotta be comfy. So either one of those, that will complete the look. I think for right now, for Walking Betty, it's gonna be sneakers. But yeah, this is it. We need more. We will, yeah. thank you. Ooh. Oh my God. My God. <laughs> Good morning. It's the day after the Super Bowl. I could give a rat's ass about football, but I do like the snacks. Um, I gotta say, even the commercials were not even good this year. So I stopped watching after the Usher performance where I was screaming the entire time. However, I did win $110 in one of those like box things. So that worked out for me very well. Last year I won the whole thing, even though I was at work during the Super Bowl and I won $250. So always a nice little extra. However, <laughs> that $110 paid for one the $30 I put into the boxes, and then all the transportation and food that I paid for yesterday to even get to the Super Bowl party. So like, it was a wash, but like, at least I came out even. So, always good. But yeah, we ate like pigs, which is always fun. We got a Crave case from White Castle, and we got Popeyes. And Danielle made her famous buffalo chicken dip, which is my favorite, so a good time. So, I'm gonna wrap it up here because in my head, I'm like, ooh yeah, I'm gonna do like one full week of February, and now it's like two weeks in, so like, let's just wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Hi, Betty.